hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here kindly subscribe and join our amazing community if you're returning savvy thank you thank you thank you so you guys can already tell from the title of this video i'll be teaching you how to make delicious simple and doesn't take too much time give it your recipe so i hope you enjoy this content don't forget to subscribe like share and comment started off by chopping onions i used four onions for this So at this point guys I thought it would be cool to try out you know those executive chef chopping onions let me tell you that's how I almost lost a finger don't try this Thirty minutes later almost missing finger we finished it guys we finished the job we chopped the onions that's done next up is the chilies this is totally optional but I love my food chili so this is why I was chopping up chilies I used one chili for this We're done chopping up the chilies, now it's time to begin the cooking. So first up will be the onions, put them into a pot that already has some hot oil. Mate, after you've left the onions to fry for a bit, now it's time to put in the chilies. So that's the next step. So we've fried our onions and our chili for like 5 minutes, next step, put in the garlic because garlic will always be a game changer for flavours so whether it's garlic powder or you prefer the organic garlic itself, get you some garlic. So random question, do you guys dice your garlic or do you grate your garlic because 5 minutes in my brain was like you know we could have grated this but we're already way deep into this so we're just gonna go with the flow we're gonna chop up the garlic so you guys should let me know do you chop your garlic or do you just grate it guys we're done with the garlic next step is pouring in garlic into the onion and chili fry it if you guys don't take any takeaway from this video i hope you take this one vital lesson season your food it improves the taste so drastically you're gonna be so motivated with it so season your food guys season your food so we fried our onions we fried our chili we fried our garlic next step pour in the potatoes and let them fry Muchachos, after you put in the potato cubes, let them fry, not till they're fully done, like a medium there, and then take them out. Okay, chefs, next, we've taken out the potato cubes, now we put in the kiberi. Let it fry for like a good 10 minutes before you put in anything else. Don't put the tomatoes yet, just let the kiberi fly. So 
as we wait for the grilled fry for a bit, we're gonna be chopping up the tomatoes. Notice that I didn't fry the tomatoes with the onions and garlic. There's a purpose to it, so you're gonna see it once you get there. We've finished chopping up the tomatoes, so we're going to pour it into the gooberry fry mix we had. Notice that we just place it on top. Don't mix it, don't stir it, just leave it on top, let it, like, like it steam and it's gonna cook. And then once it's fully steamed and it's like all mushy, you can now mix stuff all together. The fried potatoes we put aside, now we're going to add them up on top of the tomatoes and then just cover, add a bit of water and then cover it. Don't stir, don't mix, just let it steam. It's gonna cook that way. Next guys, we're going to be adding a bit more seasoning because I love all seasoning never, never, ever had any problem. I almost forgot guys, don't forget to salt your food. Like it's usually advisable to cook the salt into your food rather than top it up after your food is already cooked. As we let our milk cook, it's quite important to clean up on the surfaces you've used. Almost getting the alerts. Would you lay your life for avocados just like they did in Black Panther? Yes, for avocados without a question. Could we kindly get an Oscar for this avocado because it's beautiful. This was an easy to make, delicious step-to-step Kiveri -step recipe. I hope you enjoyed this content. You can also bring up suggestions as to how you pair your Kiveri wine as rice. I know it's weird, but it's tasty and I love it. Hope you enjoyed this content and be sure to subscribe and I'll catch you in the next video.